So. Good evening to all. Welcome to the live session for metal cutting. I am Dr. Shade Singh. And only for 30 second introduction of mine. I am basically with the Made Easy since its inception and I am technically a researcher. I handle pro uh, project from various agencies. And Elsevier Scoopers, they recognize me as the top 2% scientist in mechanical category for year 2021. So this metal cutting is a very small topic of production. So this session is not going to be very long. And it is also not required because gate is uh, almost 15 days away. So we should not waste our time. So I am going to take up some uh, very, very important question that you should know about it. And I will not, like in the live classes, I used to dictate, I used to wait. Here, I am not going to do any of those things because this lecture will be available over the MADZ channel. So you don't have to, uh, you know, record it and all these things. Everything is available online. So before I begin, I, first of all, I express my gratitude to, to my teachers at IIT Delhi and Aligarh Muslim University. Because of them only, I know some fundamentals of uh, production engineering. So let us begin our journey for this live class. Somehow I am not able to see the chat actually. You know, just I have to log in from some other medium. Uh, as I am discussing question, I will log, log into chat. I will be looking at chat because suppose if you, if you have some queries, I should know about it. Okay, na? So now let us begin our journey for discussion. My, uh, of course, uh, it's theoretical questions, exactly the same thing is not going to appear in any examination, especially gate where most of the questions are new. But the fundamentals are very important because from the fundamentals, question can pop up anywhere. Like uh, some of these questions I have framed based on my ex last 20 years of experience and your telegram chat, whatever I am going through in the last uh, one month, you are answering your questions. Based on that, I have framed these questions. So the first question is, uh, first question is, in machining operation using a single point cutting tool, most of the practical situations, the correct sequence of rake angles. Here, I would like to tell you, just a moment, I want to log into chat because, you know, some, there is some issue with my iPad. So, just a minute. In the machining, there are different systems. There are different systems to define the rake angle. Like here, I also wanted to address one more point that some people think that no only back rank angle has to be used for the calculations in merchants analysis now there is another group of uh, teacher they think that only normal rake angle has to be used so uh, in this uh, very short uh, live lecture i would like to let you know what is exactly the situation okay now so uh, Just a minute, you know. Yeah. Okay, now I can see the chat. So I would like to tell you here that which approach we should use it. Now there are different systems. First is the ASA system, American system. And American system defines the back rate angle. American system defines the back rate angle. And we have already discussed these things in the class that how to define back rake angle, falana, side rake angle, all these things we have already discussed. So this is the tool in, uh, with me. Shank, this is the rake face, side cutting edge, end cutting edge, rake face. Okay, now back rake angle we have discussed because we are in this situation that, you know, we have already discussed all these things. Now, uh, there is something called British system. What is the British system? British system is the steepest slope. 
it, if you see the red face, it is the steepest slope in any direction. It's called British rake. Now there is something called orthogonal rake, ORS system, ORS system. You know why these systems are there? Because there are some school of thoughts. They think that if you take this this angle, this this particular rake, then prediction of cutting forces will be more accurate. If you take this, uh, let us say British rake or back rake or orthogonal rake or sometimes normal rake, then prediction of cutting forces will be accurate. But anyway, in every theory, there are approximations. So none of the theory is correct. Okay, now the so British rake. Now, what is the orthogonal rake? What I have, what we have discussed in MBDZ classes, that this is the base plane. This is the base plane. By the way, base plane is also called a reference plane. And now, this is the cutting edge. Draw a normal to the cutting edge. And this, uh, this plane will be perpendicular to the base plane. Okay? And there we define the orthogonal rake. For all the practical situations, orthogonal rake and the normal rake, they are same. Because uh, in our examination point of view because there was some question in the telegram group a few a few days back i was answering i told him it is not research research we have to crack the exam so here angle of inclination will be zero otherwise we cannot apply the merchants and merchants or whatever uh, you know uh, formulas we have learned now what is angle of inclination at what angle cutting edge is inclined at what angle cutting edge is inclined so you know some of you may not have uh, i have not taught you so this is shank side cutting edge if you see the side, carefully side cutting edge is at an angle now i am putting this in the camera so now here if on this face on the side flank if you draw a line like this how much angle this line is making with the cutting edge is called angle of inclination draw this uh, shank draw a straight line up to this point and this angle is called angle of how much angle cutting edge is inclined that is called angle of inclination now for a uh, practical purposes to hit the question and exam orthogonal and and uh, normal rakes are same now what is exactly the normal rake now because this cutting edge is a uh, you know it's a slightly at an angle now i will draw a plane normal to the cutting edge in this plane see in orthogonal plane my orthogonal ring my plane was normal to the base plane it's little complicated but i will like to explain because this video is there again and again you can see this initial portion base plane or reference plane and for normal rake i have drawn a plane normal to the base plane like this and i have dictated in the class also but here in the normal rake you have to draw normal to the cutting edge in, th in this direction and it may not be perpendicular to the base plane so now what is the angle at angle between that line and the rake face is called normal rake but for our competitive examination for our competitive examination if i i want to use the merchant's hypothesis both the angles are same because i will be zero okay now so generally this normal rake normal rake will be slightly less than the orthogonal rake in all practical purposes so now british rake is the steep, steepest slope so british rake angle will be the highest orthogonal rake will be more than the normal rake and the back rake you know how there is a relationship i have given that formula in the class also there is a relationship between asa and ors system there if you use that formula in most of the practical cases orthogonal rake will come out to be more than the back rake so here answer d is correct i will keep on looking at the chat so if you have anything please let me know okay now nah? if you have anything let me know so uh, orthogonal rake normal rake but always remember for gate examination because i will be zero orthogonal and normal will be exactly same don't have this confusion because there are some books written by one IIT professor, he goes into detail. That is for research. So for all the practical purposes, we will take both as the same. If it is uh, given in the question normal rate or orthogonal rate, 
our formula is not going to be changed. But as far as the deep theory is concerned, that is slight change in the normal rate. Normal rate will be slightly less than the orthogonal rate. So why I have incorporated this question? Because there was some confu confusion among the students that sir, there is a normal leg or of, uh, the, there are some test series, they are also coming up with a new questions. So, gate is fundamental, not very complicated. So, I hope uh, this, I have explained this thing to you. Now, uh, let us go to question number two. Question number two. Yeah. Second question is, once again, the reason I am not stopping, because... Because this video you can see again and again. Okay, na? Be uh, video you can see again and again. Once again, it's a compilation of some of the important questions that I thought of. Second question is, machining operation using single point cutting tool, machining operation using single point cutting tool, if angle of inclination is 8 degrees, the direction of chip flow can be approximated as So, uh, the logic in orthogonal rake and uh, normal rake is the theory, you know, why this theory came into picture? Because my chip flow is taking place in that direction. So, that rake will give me the accurate prediction of cutting forces. That is their idea. That is their hypothesis. ASS says, no, if you, if you use back rake angle, then that prediction of cutting forces will be very accurate. So, now... Such questions can be handled by stabler equation. Such uh, questions can be handled by stabler equation. And the stabler equation is stabler equation is zeta. Generally in the books, zeta is the chip flow direction. Is nothing but stabler constant into angle of inclination. In the problem, it is given 8 degree as the angle of inclination and generally this stabler constant is 0.9. Stabler constant is 0.9. So, chip flow direction is nothing but 0.9 into 8. So, 7.2 degrees will be the direction of chip flow. So, direction of chip flow is calculated by stabler equation. This is the first version of Stabler equation. First version of Stabler equation. There is a second version of Stabler equation also. But you know what I feel in gate, question will appear from this section. Or I, if the actual question appears, it will be the simple Stabler equation. But if normal rake angle is given to you, if the normal rake angle is given to you, then tan zeta this tan zeta is nothing but tan i plus tan alpha n. I will be using this equation. If the normal rate angle is given, I will be using this equation to calculate to calculate the direction of chip flow. If nothing is given to you, only the angle of inclination is given to you, use this formula directly. Stabler, this is C is called Stabler constant and generally this Stabler constant is approximately 0.9. Okay, no? so things are very easy. Gate is very easy only if you know the fundamentals. Okay, so now uh, let us go to the next problem because I have already, yeah, this is a very good problem. This similar type of problem appeared. Yeah, good. Uh, most of your answers are correct. Very good because I, I, I can see the chat now. So please respond in the chat box if you want to know something or your answers. Okay, so let, let us make it interactive. This third question is the most controversial question. One such question appeared few years back in gate. And you know, different types of test series is they are you know, giving the different variations. So let us understand here properly. Question is, question is, by increasing the friction angle, friction angle we know is beta. 
I am using the same rotation that we teachers at MadeEasy use in the class. Same rotations I am planning to use it. If, the, if we increase the friction angle, what will happen to the cutting force and the cut chip thickness? Cut chip thickness means thickness of chip after machining. Whether FC will increase, T2 will decrease. Your FC increase, T2 will increase. FC decrease, T2 will decrease. FC decrease, T2 will increase. So, what is the answer? Can either anybody, want, anybody would like to say something? So, when you are answering, please let me know the question number also. Let me know the question number also. So that I can understand actually what is the answer of the question. Okay, na? Okay, good. Some of you are giving the correct answer. When any such question appeared in exam, when any such question appeared in exam, come to merchant circle. Don't mug up. I will be little slow here because it's a very, very important for this year gate. Fundamental. Once again, I will repeat whatever I have told you in the beginning of the class. Exact same question may not appear, but based on the funda, you will be experiencing some question appearing uh, in this competitive examination. If such type of question appears, immediately, immediately come to merchant circle. So what is the question here? Beta increases. Friction angle beta increases. So let us see. Okay. Yeah, this one. Now let us go to merchant circle. Merchant circle we know very well. Let us change the color. This is the semi-circle, this is another semi-circle, NFC, FT, the, we, all of us know, know very well. I will spend 2-3 minutes here and with a cool head you should see what I am doing. With a cool head you should see. Yeah, in the second question, once again I will repeat in Hindi because, because I think there are some students. This two equations are If question mein, सिर्फ एंगल ऑफ इंक्लिनेशन दे रखा है तो जीटा इज इक्वल्स टू 0.9 इनटू आई इज द आंसर अगर क्वेश्चन में एंगल ऑफ इंक्लिनेशन और नॉर्मल रेक एंगल दे रखा है तब स्टेबलर का सेकंड इक्वेशन लगाएंगे tan जीटा इज इक्वल्स टू tan i tan अल्फा m ठीक है पर मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि गेट में पहला ऐसे काम बन जाएगा ठीक है ना क्यों ज्यादा कैलकुलेशन वगैरह कॉम्प्लिकेशन कॉम्प्लिकेशन ना डालेंगे नहीं आपको ठीक है ना Okay, I hope uh, Ayush, you are okay with that. Good. So now this is semicircle now, and this is your F, and this is the and everybody knows about it. There is nothing new. So they case my kar My beta is increasing. So beta increasing means graph is moving like this. It's a semicircle now. It's the same, it's the, it's exactly the same way we have hit the previous get question. So, if you have a beta increase, then what is it? Beta increase, then what is it? So, what is exactly happening? By increasing beta, F is increasing and N is decreasing. F is increasing, N is decreasing. This is the same way. Beta increase, then what is it? Beta, the beta is F is a friction force. Or Hamari governing equation kya bol diya hai? Total energy in machining is equal to energy consumed in overcoming the friction and energy consumed in overcoming uh, in breaking the crystal structure FSVS. So F come hua, then F C decreases. Correct na? 
अगर एफ डिक्रीज हुआ तो एफ सी डिक्रीज हो जाएगा अगर एफ इंक्रीज हुआ तो एफ सी भी इंक्रीज होगा इज दट ओके ना बाई इंक्रीजिंग बीटा सी दिस एफ इज इंक्रीजिंग करेक्ट ना सी दिस ट्राइंगल एफ इज इंक्रीजिंग एफ इज इंक्रीजिंग सो दिस फैक्टर विल इंक्रीज सो एफ सी विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज नाउ beta by increasing beta what else we are able to observe what else we are able to observe that there is a decrease in value of m there is a decrease in the value of m okay good so now what is m normal pressure on the rake face so n is the normal force acting force after it will convert into pressure so how much pressure is applied on the chip and if that n is decreasing means the normal pressure is decreasing on the chip so after machining chips are flowing over the egg phase pressure is less thickness will increase so thickness will increase thickness will increase fc will increase okay na एवरीवेयर एक्चुअली देर इज अ फंडा कुछ भी ऐसा नहीं है कि हिट्स हो सीधा चले हो सीधा आंसर आपका बी होगा एफ सी ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस टी टू ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस पर देखो एक चीज ऐसा बाई वेरिएशन ऑफ बीटा यू हैव पुट दिस मर्चेंट सर्किल कॉल टू मर्चेंट सर्किल बट सपोज सेम थिंग इफ यू से same thing if you say i want to change the back rectangle go the question may appear that i want to change the back rectangle yeah vs yeah raza raza vs will be affected by cutting speed because in the velocity triangle in the velocity triangle vs vc and v they are interrelated दे आर इंटर रिलेटेड तो उसका भी एक फॉर्मूला है बट आवर बी बिल सी दीचर कंपोनेंट ऑफ दैट फोर्स ना सपोज द क्वेश्चन कम्स अबाउट द चेंज इन द रेक एंगल इफ आई से बैक रेक एंगल इट मीन आई एम फॉलोइंग ए एस ए इफ आई से ऑर्थोगुलर रेक एंगल इट मीन आई एम फॉलोइंग ओ आर एस सिस्टम ओके सो नाउ आई विल नॉट डायरेक्टली गो टू द मर्चेंट सर्किल इफ देर इज अ बैक रेक एंगल I will come to this formula. In class, we have proved these things. L C is the length of contact. Suppose this is the tool. L this is the rake face, correct? Na rake face. And T this is the T one by sine phi. Uh, all these things we have done in the class. Now, as the hot chips are flowing over the rake face, from this point onwards, chips goes away. So. चिप्स का हॉट चिप्स का रेक फेस से कितने लेंथ तक कांटेक्ट है इट इज कॉन्टेक्ट लेंथ एलसी एलसी का फॉर्मूला हमने प्रूव किया था क्लास में है कि नहीं सो so, अगर क्वेश्चन में द रीजन आई एम स्पीकिंग ब्लैंड बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ असर फ्रॉम नॉर्थ इंडिया दैट इज द रीजन आई एम स्पीकिंग द ब्लैंड ओके अगर गेट के क्वेश्चन में बैक रेक एंगल का इफेक्ट आता है पहले इसे देखो लड़ से By increasing the rake angle, what happens? By increasing the back rake angle, what happens? यानी ये alpha increase हुआ. Alpha in phi plus beta minus alpha. तो ये 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 angle कम हो जाएगा. Alpha बढ़ेगा तो ये angle angle कम हो जाएगा. Sine component है यानी sine zero zero होता है. Sine ninety one होता है. तो ये angle कम हुआ तो ये पूरा factor कम हो गया. ये पूरा फैक्टर कम हो गया इट मीन्स इट मीन्स बाय इंक्रीजिंग द बैक रेक एंगल देर विल बी डिक्रीज इन द कॉन्टैक्ट लेंथ देर विल बी डिक्रीज इन द कॉन्टैक्ट लेंथ अगर कॉन्टैक्ट लेंथ डिक्रीज हो जाएगी इट इज डिक्रीजिंग द कॉन्टैक्ट एरिया और कॉन्टैक्ट एरिया डिक्रीज हो गया तो ड्रैग भी कम होगा Because it's a maintenance law of friction, और इसके इससे जो जो shoot up होता है वो discussion आप और follow कीजिए. So हमेशा ध्यान रखिए merchant 
मर्चेंट्स एनालिसिस से जो भी वेरिएशन आता है भाई देखो ये एंगल चेंज करो ये पैरामीटर चेंज करो आप मर्चेंट सर्किल और रेख फेस और चिप के बीच में क्या हो रहा है उन दोनों पर फोकस करो आप रेख फेस और चिप के बीच में क्या हो रहा है उस पर फोकस करो इन दोनों पर चीजों पर फोकस करेंगे एवरी थियोटिकल क्वेश्चन यू बिल बी एबल टू हिट एवरी थियोटिकल क्वेश्चन यू बिल बी एबल टू हिट विदाउट एनी प्रॉब्लम ओके ना सो या यू आर करेक्ट रजा और लाइट सो नाउ सी आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू वेस्ट योर टाइम सो आई हैव टेकन ऑनली सम हॉट क्वेश्चन दैट्स इट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू वेस्ट योर टाइम बिकॉज यू नो इट्स अ गेट इज ओनली फिफ्टीन डेज तो सब कुछ प्रिसाइज में होनी चाहिए चीजें ठीक है ना इस पर देखिए बहुत क्वेश्चन आते हैं जो अभी डिस्कशन कर रहा हूं मैं गेट और अलाइट जो है उसके बहुत क्वेश्चन आते हैं इसलिए आपको ठीक से देखिए ऐसे आप अगर थोड़ा मैं क्योंकि मैं कोई लिखवा नहीं रहा कोई ब्रेक नहीं दे रहा तो हो सकता है सर के ऊपर से चला जाए अब दोबारा वीडियो देखिए ठीक है ना सो दिस इज द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन बाई इंक्रीजिंग द रेक एंगल ऑफ सिंगल पॉइंट कटिंग टूल वट है टू दूल लाइफ बाई इंक्रीजिंग द रेक एंगल ऑफ द सिंगल पॉइंट कटिंग टूल वट है टू द टूल लाइफ वेरी गुड इट्स अम्स टू बी वेरी इजी मैनी सुमित रोहित या प्रैक्टिकली विदाउट फेल एवरीबडी गॉट गेटिंग द करेक्ट आंसर ओके सो यू नो आंसर इज सी बिकॉज इट्स वन ऑफ द पर्पजफुली आई हैव कैप्ट इजी क्वेश्चन बिकॉज फर्स्ट टू थ्री क्वेश्चन यू नो योर माइंड मस्ट है बिकम हॉट यू नो इट्स वेरी इजी बाई इंक्रीजिंग द रेक एंगल बैक रेक एंगल और नॉर्मल रेक एंगल बटर एक एंगल डिक्रीज होगा तो दूसरा भी डिक्रीज होगा सो बाई इंक्रीजिंग द रेक एंगल बिकॉज द कॉन्टेक्ट लेंथ इज डिक्रीजिंग फ्रिक्शन फोर्स विल डिक्रीज सो कटिंग फोर्सेज विल डिक्रीज कटिंग फोर्सेज विल डिक्रीज सो टू लाइफ विल इंक्रीज बट वेन द बैक रेक एंगल एक्सीड्स बियॉन्ड ए सर्टन वैल्यू of course the cutting forces are decreasing but lip angle lip angle drastically decreased lip angle drastically decreased so lip angle tells you the strength so that's the reason to lag is going down it's a easy there is no issue i think practically everyone of you given the correct answer to me okay now uh Okay. By increasing the side cutting edge angle, the temperature on the rake face. The temperature on the rake face. Tell me what is the answer. Hmm. Temperature on the rake face. Yeah. Why the side cutting edge angle is given to you? Why? The side cutting edge angle is given to you. We have discussed in the class that uncut chip thickness is f cos i. Okay, na? And width of chip is nothing but d divided by cos i. Drilling ke case mein sign effect rata hai, kyun hai? Yehi hai na? I hope I have done that correctly. So now. By increasing the side cutting edge angle, cos 90 is zero. By increasing the side cutting edge angle, T1 decreases and W increases. And these discussions we have already done. So by increasing the side cutting edge angle, chips becomes thinner and wider. It means it means the contact area. it means the contact area between the chip and the rake face will increase the also contact area badh jayega agar contact area badha yeah it's true that it will slightly increase the drag it will slightly increase the drag 
Yeah, most of you are correct. Ayush, Anjani, Chahat, your answers are correct. I think you are champions, I am telling you. Okay, you, you may hit the good rank. <laughs> because I think one student I can see consistently a person is giving the correct answer. Okay. So now drag may slightly increase. But whatever heat is developed, how the heat is developed? When the crystals are breaking down in the primary deformation zone, some heat will develop. After the chips are flowing over the rake phase, so the because of heavy drag, temperature continues to develop. So the maximum temperature appears approximately 2 to 3 millimeter away from the cutting edge. And that is the problem number diffusion. So now because of increase in contact area, because of increase in contact area, whatever heat is developed, it is distributed over the larger area. Whatever heat is developed, it is distributed over the larger area. If heat larger area will distribute, it will decrease the peak temperature. Decrease the temperature, diffusion wear will decrease and the tool life will increase. Okay, very very important concept. Once again, because it's the middle of the lecture, I, as I told you, cutting is not a big thing. So maximum 50 minutes, I am going to wind up everything. 50 minute lecture only because I don't want to waste your time. Understand the concept that I am discussing. Don't mug up the questions. Understand the concept that I am discussing in the class. This short class. So now, sixth question. Let us see who can hit it. I have already given the concept, but I wanted to know whether you have understood. In this class only, I have given this a short class. By increasing the rake angle, chip thickness ratio. You know, I am mentioning here, gate it will be crystal clear. Sometimes people say T2 by T1 chip thickness ratio, some people say T1 by T2, it doesn't matter. I am saying T1 by T2. T1 is uncut chip thickness, T2 is the chip thickness. What will happen to the chip thickness ratio by increasing the rake angle? Anybody? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, same person giving the exact answer. Others are wrong. Think over it. For uh, five seconds to think over it. Then process, process it. Process it. Sachin, you are hundred percent correct. Sachin, you are hundred percent correct. Okay, uh, there is there is a googly. <laughs> it's a googly to all of you. <laughs> I think you have forgotten what I was speaking. What I recommend to all of you, based on my opinion of last uh, twenty two days of doubt clearing in our made easy telegram channel based on that i have developed this problem <laughs> okay na? and first 20 minutes of lecture was targeted to that only i think some of you should see it again to basically understand what exactly happened some of you join late so now see rake angle increases rake angle increases Contact length will go down. Contact length between the chip and the rake face, it will go down. This leads to a smaller drag. Correct, na? Are we have seen the merchant's hypothesis, na? Uh, drag, if you see the merchant circle, if you see the merchant circle, beta, F N decrease in LC by Amenta's theory will decrease F. अगर देखो F यहाँ decrease हो रही है तो कब कैसे जा रहा है? F decrease हो रही है तो देखो क्या हो रहा है? ऐसा हो रहा है कुछ है ना? F decrease हो रहा है and will increase. The reason I am speaking too much English because are quite possible some South Indian students may be there in the audience. That's the reason I am speaking. F decrease होगा तो N increase होगा 
होगा नहीं होगा और ये आपका टूल है और टूल के ऊपर अगर नॉर्मल फोर्स बढ़ा इट विल प्रेस द चिप कट चिप तो सेपरेटेड मटेरियल है ना उसे उस पर अगर नॉर्मल प्रेशर बढ़ाएंगे तो उसकी थिकनेस टेंस टू रिड्यूस चिप थिकनेस टेंस टू रिड्यूस ओके एंड चिप थिकनेस टेंस टू रिड्यूस आर क्या है टी वन बाई टी टू टी टू रिड्यूस होगा तो आर बढ़ेगा इसका सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओके ना इट्स इट वाज रियली गुगली टू सम ऑफ यू इट वाज गुगली टू सम ऑफ यू करेक्ट आई एम जस्ट सीइंग सम ऑफ द वेरी गुड पुष्पेंद्र हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट पंकज यार हुडा ये तुमने बहुत अच्छे क्वेश्चन पूछते हो चैट बॉक्स में आई मीन जो टेलीग्राम चैनल बहुत अच्छे क्वेश्चन आई रियली अप्रिशिएट क्वेश्चन पर यहां में थोड़ी गुगली हो गई तुम्हारी ओके अंडा सो ना नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बिकॉज मैं आप किसी का भी टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करना चाहता यहां पर या अब देखो यहां पर यह भी क्वेश्चन बहुत लोग पूछते हैं हमसे सपोज एक क्वेश्चन है आपका इन ऑर्थोगल कटिंग फॉलोइंग डेटा इज ऑब्जर्व अनकट चिप थिकनेस इज गिवन टू यू कट चिप थिकनेस इज गिवन टू यू देखो एग्जाम में इट इज रिटर्न बैक रेक एंगल डोंट गेट टेंशन Don't get tension. Use that angle only. But suppose side rake angle and the side cutting edge angle is also given to you. Then you calculate normal angle, the formula that we have given in the classroom. But even if the back rake angle is given, don't convert into. It, it is not possible to convert into normal rake. Use the same angle in the calculation. So uh, in this, what formula we use? This one, because T2 is given, T1 is given, rake angle is given. Calculate phi. Direct formula. When T1 and T2 are given to you, don't go to Anderson, Merchant, and Lee and Schaeffer. Directly use this formula to get the answer. But suppose T2 is missing. But suppose T2 is missing. That is the next question. Suppose in the question T two is missing. I hope everybody is hearing, but I am saying it is very very important because it is a very short lecture. Because, uh, because entire cutting, I want to summarize in fifteen minutes to maximum one hour. That's it. If T two is missing, we have to depend upon either Ernest and Merchant and Lear or Lear and Schaeffer theory. We have to depend upon either Ernest and Merchant, Lear and Schaeffer theory. in gate i have seen all the time either the name of theory will be given to you like using ernest and merchant or using the lee and schaeffer or some hint will be given to you that which theory you have to use here what is given during orthogonal cutting with a rake angle of 5 degree alpha is 5 and undeformed chip thickness is 0.25. The shear plane angle for minimum power. Minimum power means you have to use Ernest and Merchant. Minimum power means you have to use Ernest and Merchant. Suppose the question is using the slip line field theory. Then it's a Lee and Schaeffer. Slip line field theory is the Lee and Schaeffer theory. So here it's easy. Uh, uh, sorry, it's a question. It is a uh, coefficient of friction is given 0.5. So here, 10 beta is 0.5. Beta you will calculate by this. Ernest and Merchant is 25 plus beta minus alpha is 90 degree. So uh, phi comes out to be 34.2. Once again, here lot of students got confusion. Have cool head. Okay, na. Don't be in rush.
sometime in gate sometime here so one minute please pay very careful attention yeah here everybody is correct <laughs> it was an easy cake for one minute pay very careful attention in gate sometimes they ask you to calculate a student rate sometimes they are very particular about share is they will write share strain rate so what is exactly the strain rate sab log dekho dhyan se dekho us ek minute dekho zyada difficult nahi hai aapko malum hona chahiye cheeze bahut easy hai ye strain rate ho to hota kya hai us direction mein velocity divided by the instantaneous length is if you see the material science it is the जिस डायरेक्शन में आपको स्ट्रेन रेट निकालना है उस डायरेक्शन में वेलोसिटी डिवाइड बाय द इंस्टेंटेनियस लेंथ तो हमारा जो फ्रैक्चर हो रहा है इट इज फ्रैक्चर इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन द शेयर प्लेन सो शेयर वेलोसिटी डिवाइड बाय द लेंथ ऑफ शेयर प्लेन शेयर वेलोसिटी डिवाइड बाय द लेंथ ऑफ शेयर प्लेन जनरली आई हैव सीन टू थ्री गेट क्वेश्चन आई हैव सीन टू थ्री गेट क्वेश्चन in which this ls was given to you this ls was given to you but suppose suppose value of ls is not given to you you have to calculate the strain rate and the value of ls is not given to you then what we will say ls is 10% of t1 by sin phi we will take this and go ahead with our solution okay a light is that okay so please remember these things let us go to the next hmm this question is very very important for gate it is very very important one type of question appears in gate very frequently let us read the question first then we will do uh, how to solve it they will change the language and the data but the type of question it occurs is so frequent that you will find this question in either of the chat in alternate years it's very frequent occurrence free very frequent occurrence that's the reason i thought of taking this question let us read the language first gate mein kabhi language twist kar denge ye data wahan ya feed de rakhiye depth upper de denge par अप्रोच हमारी सेम रहेगी देखो क्वेश्चन पढ़ते हैं पहले दिस इज द रिकॉर्ड ऑफ नंबर ऑफ आइडेंटिकल कंपोनेंट्स प्रोड्यूस्ड एट डिफरेंट स्पीड्स एंड फीड्स बिटवीन द टू सक्सेसिव रीग्राइंड ओके एस्टिमेट द नंबर ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स दैट कैन बी प्रोड्यूस्ड एट 350 फिफ्टी आरपीएम यह हमारा अननोन डेटा थ्री फिफ्टी आरपीएम एंड पॉइंट वन फाइव मिलीमीटर पर रेवोल्यूशन फीड मतलब आपको स्पीड फीड डेप्थ ऑफ कट आपको कुछ पैरामीटर्स दे रखे हैं और आपको कह रहा है क्वेश्चन भाई बिटवीन द टू सक्सेसिव रीग्रांड्स में इतने कंपोनेंट बनेंगे और कुछ डेटा सेट दे रखा है आपको मतलब इतना स्पेंडल स्पीड पर इतने फीड पर इतने कंपोनेंट बनाने के बाद हमारा टूट जाएगा डेलवो दूसरा साइड तीसरा साइड अब क्वेश्चन क्या पूछ रहा है अगर मेरी स्पीड 350 फिफ्टी आरपीएम है और 0.15 वन फाइव मिलीमीटर पर रेवोल्यूशन पर मैंने फिट दी तो मैं बिटवीन द टू सक्सेसिव रीग्राइंड कितने कंपोनेंट बनेंगे और ऐसा क्वेश्चन तोड़ मरोड़ के एक्चुअली उधर उधर पूछा जाता है तो दिमाग ठंडा करते हैं पहले थोड़ा सा देखो इसमें क्या करते हैं इसमें क्या करते हैं हमारी टेलर्स टूल लाइफ इक्वेशन क्या है हमारी टेलर्स टूल लाइफ इक्वेशन है वी टी रेस टू पावर एन इजिकल टू सी बस ध्यान से देखो जरा ऐसे क्यों हर साल एक्चुअली अल्टरनेट ईयर में ये किसी किसी सेट में जरूर टपक पड़ता है एक्चुअली बहुत फ्रीकॉन्ट कर ऐसे क्वेश्चन की यह हमारी टेलर्स टूल लाइफ इक्वेशन है इसमें देखो क्या हो रहा है v हमारी स्पीड है 
और उसका कोई पावर नहीं है ठीक है ना तो जो भी डेटा सेट दे रखा है कौन सा पैरामीटर स्पीड को रिप्रेजेंट करता है कौन सा पैरामीटर स्पीड को रिप्रेजेंट करता है उसको निकाल लो और रिमेनिंग पैरामीटर्स पे पावर चढ़ाते चलो बन सके बन सके हम क्या करेंगे देखो किसी भी नोट्स में देखेंगे किसी बुक्स देखेंगे इसके सॉल्यूशन इतने कॉम्प्लेक्स कर रखे हैं कोई जरूर नहीं है गेट गेट इज वेरी इजी इसमें कटिंग स्पीड है ना तो जो आपका डेटा सेट दे रखा है जो आपका डेटा सेट दे रखा है इस डेटा सेट में स्पीड क्या रिप्रेजेंट कर रही है उसे अलग निकाल लो कोई पावर मत चढ़ाओ ना द रिमेनिंग रिमेनिंग पैरामीटर्स कीप ऑन कीप ऑन पुटिंग पावर्स लाइक हियर आरपीएम स्पीड रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है तो उसका कोई पावर मत चढ़ाओ बाकी हर पैरामीटर पर पावर चढ़ा चलो दूसरा पैरामीटर एफ है एफ रेस टू पावर ए नंबर ऑफ कंपोनेंट रेस टू पावर बी ये आपकी आग आ गई मॉडिफाइड टेलर्स टू लाइफ इक्वेशन यहां पे जो नंबर ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स हैं इट इज अ रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ टू लाइफ इट्स अ रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ टू लाइफ यस जनरली ऐसे क्वेश्चन पता खाते हैं फिल फिल इन द ब्लैंक दे दिया नंबर ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स इज आपको पंच करना डेटा करेक्ट अप टू द टू डेसिमल प्लेसेस तो वहां पे क्वेश्चन कभी आते हैं तो बस अब जैसे डेटा दे रखा है ना लगाते रहो लगाओ पहला डेटा सेट लगाओ 250.1 फिफ्टी पॉइंट वन रेस टू पावर ए थ्री हंड्रेड इलेवन रेस टू पावर बी जो कस टू सी ठीक है ना दूसरा डेटा सेट फिट करो 250.125 फिफ्टी पॉइंट वन टू फाइव रेस टू पावर ए टू फोर्टी नाइन रेस टू पावर बी जो कस टू सी तीसरा डेटा सेट लगाओ 300.125 हंड्रेड पॉइंट वन टू फाइव रेस टू पावर ए 144 फोर्टी फोर रेस टू पावर बी इज टू सी इससे आप ए बी और सी निकाल लो इससे आप ए बी और सी निकाल लो ठीक है ना तो जरा जरा करना जरा और इसे ए बी और सी की वैल्यू आ गई इसे लिख देता हूं यहां पर पॉइंट थ्री थ्री ये भी पॉइंट थ्री थ्री आएगा और ये आएगा सेवन एटी सेवन सेवन एटी सेवन ठीक है ना आप कर लेना कि हम टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करना चाहते यहां पर ठीक है तो अब क्या करेंगे इस अननोन डेटा सेट को इसमें डालो सो एन अननोन क्या हमारा थ्री फिफ्टी फीट क्या दे रखी है पॉइंट वन फाइव और रेस टू पावर पॉइंट थ्री थ्री आपको एक्स निकालना है ये आपका आंसर है एक बात इसको आप ध्यान से देखना है भूलना मत भटा ही रिकमेंड टू यू ना इस प्रॉब्लम को गेट एग्जामिनेशन में घुसने से एक दिन पहले जरूर देखिए और इसका आंसर आएगा 75.59 फाइव पॉइंट फाइव नाइन सेवेंटी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव दोबारा रिपीट करूंगा क्योंकि ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है जो भी डेटा सेट दे रखा है पहले आप आइडेंटिफाई करो कि क्या चीज स्पीड रिप्रेजेंट कर रही है क्यों टेलर स्टूल लाइफिकेशन में स्पीड पर कोई पावर नहीं है उसे एक अलग निकाल लो बाकी पैरामीटर्स पर पावर चढ़ाते चलो ए बी सी डी जितनी भी है पर जंगली दो से ज्यादा नहीं आएगा गेट में आपकी हमारी मेडिस वर्कबुक पर इसमें भी दो तीन क्वेश्चन है इसके लास्ट पांच छह साल के जो गेट देखा जाए तो कंडीशन से कॉन्स्टेंट सी वैल्यू निकाल लो अनोन डेटा सेट में रख दो आंसर आ जाएगा आपका ये देखो ऐसे इसे गेट में जैसे जो जिस भी गेट है ना एक दिन पहले इसको जरूर देख के जाना ठीक है सो लेट एस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम या जैसा मैंने बताया था एक घंटे में खत्म हो जाएगा <laughs> क्योंकि हम मैं पॉज नहीं दे रहा दोबारा देख सकते हैं इस वीडियो को अगर तो ठीक है ये बहुत अच्छा क्वेश्चन है लेट एस यू कैन इट इट 
पर्पज ऑफ कटिंग फ्लड कटिंग फ्लड को फूल भी बोलते हैं हम कभी कभी एज नंबर वन डिक्रीज द पावर कंजम्पन बाई प्रोड्यूसिंग लो शेयर स्ट्रेंथ फिल्म नंबर टू डिक्रीज द पावर बाई रिड्यूसिंग फ्रिक्शन नंबर थ्री टेक अवे हीट फ्रॉम द मशीनिंग एरिया नंबर फोर डिस्पोजिंग चिप्स आर्ट ऑफ दीज थिंग विच स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट टू थ्री फोर मतलब एक गलत है क्या बी वन थ्री फोर मतलब दो गलत है क्या सी है वन टू थ्री करेक्ट फोर्थ इज रॉन्ग ऑप्शन डी ऑल आर करेक्ट या एस एक्सपेक्टेड मैनी आयुष मयंक सिंगला सम स्टूडेंट्स आर गिविंग रॉन्ग आंसर बट मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर करेक्ट सी ऑल फोर स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट इन कटिंग फ्लोर देर आर एक्सट्रीम प्रेशर एडिटिव देर आर ईपी एडिटिव लाइक क्लोरिन सल्फर फॉस्फोरस सो वेन वी आर थ्रोइंग द कटिंग फ्लोर इन द मशीनिंग एरिया दीज ईपी एडिटिव React with the manganese present in the material and produces if a low shear strength film. So first statement is wrong. First statement is correct. Now second statement because it also provides a lubricating characteristic. It decreases the friction and F. It decreases the friction force because especially as the chips are flowing over the rake face, there are two regions: sticking region and slipping region. Sticking region we cannot do anything. In the slipping region, because of the cutting fluid, it decreases the friction. So F will decrease, so power will decrease. Take away the heat from the machining area is a correct statement. And secondary function of cutting fluid is to dispose of the chips. Good. See if anything you want to do, want me to. Ah, uh, see there are some questions that are coming. Ah. Uh, See, I will be discussing only the cutting because there are, there are other faculties. There are three more faculties of production. So our MEDIS institution they have divided the subjects. Okay, na. So I will not be taking up the surface roughness and other parts of production. Our other colleagues will be taking care of. I will take only the cutting. Okay, na. All right. So next question is, yeah, this one. Mercury is used in tool workpiece thermocouple because mercury is used in the tool workpiece thermocouple because it's good conductor conductor of electricity compatible to thermocouple allow small currents to flow and fourth provide metal contact between the liquid and the solid tool tool workpiece thermocouple we know very well i am waiting for the answers Because here generally answer used to come frequently. Our champion is also not able to answer. Oh, now came champion's answer came. Okay, how I know? Because actually I see lot of answers. We interact in the tele our media easy telegram channel. So you are correct. Oh my God, everybody is correct. Lot of flow of answers. See, a tool workpiece thermocouple. The workpiece is connected to a disc, and disc is dipped in mercury. so it's a liquid so current has to flow na why we use mercury because it provides a um, provides a metal contact between the liquid and the solid state otherwise there will not be current flow we cannot use mercury is called a liquid metal because at room temperature it is liquid so that is the only reason we use mercury in practically every single person giving the correct answer except one i think yeah every single person is giving the correct answer okay all of that shows that your preparation is very good keep it up don't get nervous your preparation is very good that that shows basically i am very happy okay and i feel it's a last question for the discussion because i as i, as I told you i will not be wasting much time because cutting is a very small topic now match the following tools and process of manufacturing hss stellite yukon carbide and the process of manufacturing is casting machining powder metallurgy and the metal forming so once again let us see who can hit it ha huh? who can hit it high speed steel i think some of you are very fast you will be able to do <laughs> hmm? okay high speed steel 
are tools produced by grinding yeah very good very good grinding अरे हमने पढ़ा था ना जैसे टूल टूट जाता है निकालो ग्राइंडिंग के पास दोबारा से हम टूल सिग्नेचर बनाओ सो नाउ एच एस एस इज मशीनिंग कार्बाइड एवरीबडी नोज पार्डामेटलर्जी कार्बाइड टूल्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई पार्डामेटलर्जी ओके नाउ But uh, remaining are two, Stellat and Yukon. Yukon is a union carbide company. These compositions already we have discussed in the class. So uh, union carbide company, Bhopal Gas Gas Tragedy, tragedy same company. Uh, they got the uh, patent for this particular composition. So how exactly we make Yukon? Uh, we mix all the materials, and there is a dye. Put in the dye. and the roll over it just like a roti belt then roti north india mein south india we don't make roti but dye mein lagao chapati so but it's not chapati we are pressing with a heavy roll so the material will be shaped in the, the into the dye and after rolling take out the tool so yukon is a metal forming and to be precise it's a rolling operation to be precise it's a rolling operation Stellites are also called cast hard alloys. It's also called cast hard alloys. There are certain materials we mix and then cast. There are many many accurate casting processes like investment casting or shell molding. And after solidification, you produce the tool. So it's a very very com uh, important uh, composition. I mean, the match the following. Yeah, very good. Most of you given the correct answer. so in this last one hour what i have designed in the entire metal cutting whatever i felt important for this year gate gate 2022 i have compiled and given the uh, questions and i have discussed it i will be very much active in our made easy telegram channel between 5 to 6 if you have further question please let me know through by voice or writing everything i will try to help you out don't worry don't get nervous work hard gate is not that difficult i wish you all the best and thank you very much